the Mediterranean, which at 20 meters becomes the portrait of Abraham Lincoln. You may wonder why, of all the presidents in the United States, why the Lee chose Lincoln. My own interpretation, one, I think that Dali knew that what the American people had experienced with our Civil War was very akin to what the Spanish people had experienced with theirs. Plus, there were some Americans who fought in the Spanish Civil War, and they were called the Abraham Lincoln Brigade. Now, I also think that Dali knew that sometimes people would be so close to this painting, such as we are right now, you really can't see the very large Abraham Lincoln. So he's taken all the pixels in the painting, brought them down into one, so that here, by Gutless Foot, it is actually very easy to see Abraham Lincoln. Do y'all see that? That's actually pa uh, pasted or collaged onto the canvas. After we get through talking about the painting, I will share with you how you can see the very large one once we get back 20 meters. Getting that far back is the number one key. The further away you get, the easier it is to see. Right now, I am going to cheat, and I'm going to use my uh, cell phone with my camera and show you what it is you're going to see when we go back 20 meters. Isn't that cool? It's even more cool when you can see with your own eyes when we go back 20 meters. But that's what you're go you'll be able to see. Now, coming back down to where we see that Lincoln, right next to it, we have two pixels with Gala looking out of the Mediterranean right here. And then at the top, we see Christ hanging from the cross as if we were looking down from above, and he's painted the top of Christ's head a very bright yellow to represent the rising sun. This view of Christ is another item of Dalitian continuity, so be prepared to see some more. There's only one red pixel in the entire canvas. It is right here. It does represent where the bullet lodged in the head of Lincoln after he was shot. So keep that in mind once we go back 20 meters. Now, the woman who actually posed for Gala in this painting walked into our other museum a few years back. Some of our docents became very upset because they thought it was Gala who had posed for this. But if you think about it, this was painted in 1976. Gala passed away in 1982. So we know that her backside did not look like that in 1976. Well, this lady's name was Rhonda Lynn Rose. To this day is an incredibly shy lady. This is the first and last time that she ever posed for an artist, and at the time, she never did see the finished painting. The way she met Dali, she was a waitress at the Russian Tea Room, not very far from the St. Regis Hotel, which is where Dali stayed when he went to Manhattan. Well, he takes a friend over to the Tea Room one afternoon, and uh, he sees her from the back that she has the shape of his wife, Gala, in her younger years. And so he tells the friend that he's with, go get her phone number. Well, Rhonda's sharing this story with me. She said, you 